Okay, it is actually working. So, it's just clicked in my head. The 700 day login reward. I have no idea why Frost is walking around like this. My mouse is not working. I can... Is that going to stop him? Nope. Uh, I may need to restart this. Anywho. Uh, 700 day login reward. The Sigma and Octantis. You can throw this. Obviously, from the title of the video, you can guess where I am go- Why have I got two? Oh, yeah. You can guess where I'm going with this. In the wrong direction, of course. Ivora. Can she navigate the Sigma and Octantis? Spawn in some enemies, activate Navigator, and throw. Oh, wow, it works. It looks a bit messed up. It only bounces once and then instantly comes back. That's a bit of a shame because this thing is actually quite easy to throw. So you don't really need... Wow. That is... <laughs> okay, so there's a little bit of work to be done to it because it's really glitchy. But you can reach some pretty far distances with it. Um, when it behaves itself. I have absolutely no idea what happened there. That was a bit weird. But yes, it does work. I was really kind of hoping it would be able to bounce around because that would give you the ability when playing with other players to... You see how it stuns the enemy and opens them up to finishers? That is kind of the party piece of this weapon. Well... Allowing it to bounce between enemies would have been great for that, but this thing, once it bounces once, that's it. You are pretty much done. Why does it keep automatically aiming at enemies, though? Won't touch it, and it's going down. Yeah, it's automatically aiming towards enemies. Um, hang on. That's actually doing the same thing. It's automatically aiming at enemies. I wish that was not a thing. I'm glad it is. It makes this thing a lot easier to use, but yeah. It kind of really messes with everything about this weapon. So yes, it does work. It's really kind of weird looking. Get back in bounds so you can actually see it. With that whip thing that comes off it, that's obviously what stuns them. And the fact that it is constantly fighting you, trying to automatically aim towards enemies. Meaning that, though it does work, it's not worth using when you can just throw it manually and it's much easier. And quickly, because I know people will mention it, Ivara, yes it works, but no it's no use. Mirage with her Hall of Mirrors does actually throw five of these things out, but does kind of suffer the same problem as it would with just Ivora. It only seems to hit three people at once, and even if it does hit multiples, you can't get there quick enough to perform the finisher on more than maybe one of them, making this kind of a... Yes, it works with both of them, but no, it really isn't worth it. Ivora's is slightly better simply because you will be able to kind of navigate around the map and be able to see where the enemies are coming from. Whereas with Mirage, hitting multiple enemies at once with this, yes, it is possible, but you'll never be able to perform the finisher on that many people at once. But this is closer to how I was hoping Ivara's would work, where you can bounce it between enemies. Because if you are playing with other people, you might not be able to get in there and perform the finishers. But your teammates could join in and also perform finishers, which would of course mean you can kill more than one enemy at a time. But by yourself? Nope. Just using it as normal is probably the better way to go. Anyway, we'll leave this off here for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time that hit two enemies.